The piston kit includes all the parts you need to service the piston. It includes a new piston, the piston rings, the wrist pin, the needle bearing, washers, and two new wrist pin retainers. The most common reason to replace the piston is low compression. This can be caused by dirt or dust wearing the piston and rings. It can also be caused by a lean running engine or fuel that doesn't have enough oil in it. When there is damage to the piston, there will usually also be damage to the cylinder. The cylinder should be carefully inspected whenever there is piston damage and also replaced if needed. Replacing a damaged piston is a moderately difficult repair, but I'm going to show you how so you can do it yourself. I'll begin by removing the back cover from the blower. Now remove the air filter cover and the air filter. And now the air filter base. Now remove the carburetor. Now remove the carburetor gasket and the isolator. Now remove the muffler. Now remove the muffler gasket. Next, I'll remove the spark plug and the heat shield.
Now remove the four screws securing the cylinder to the crankcase. With the screws removed, I can slide the cylinder away from the piston and the crankcase. I'll use a scraper to scrape away what's left of the cylinder gasket. I want to be careful to keep the debris out of the crankcase. Now remove the wrist pin retainer. And now remove the wrist pin. There's two washers on either side of the needle bearing. You'll want to make sure that you get those out of the engine. And I'll remove the needle bearing from the connecting rod. Now I'll pre-assemble the piston, starting with the piston rings. You'll notice at the ring gap that a portion of it is milled round. That round part needs to fit against the end gap pin in the groove. I've got that round milling so it's facing up. And now I'll do the top ring. The kit comes with two new wrist pin retainers, and I'll install one of them now. Never reuse the retainers because they can easily fall out and cause serious engine damage. You'll notice on top of the piston there's an arrow. The arrow should point towards the muffler. So I'm going to install the retainer on the left side of that arrow. Now apply some two cycle oil to the new needle bearing and install it into the connecting rod. Now install the new piston. I'll insert the wrist pin until it's just even with the shoulder inside the piston. I'll place the piston over the needle bearing and install the first washer. Now I've pushed the wrist pin through so it's even with the needle bearing inside the connecting rod. And I'll install the second washer. I'll push the wrist pin all the way in and now I can install the second retainer. Now install a new cylinder gasket. and I'll apply some two-cycle oil to the piston to lubricate it so I can install the cylinder. I've lined up the piston ring end gaps with the pins and now insert the cylinder over the piston.
and I'll use the screws to re-secure the cylinder. Now reinstall the isolator gasket and the heat shield. And now I can reinstall the isolator. Now I'll reinstall the muffler. I'll start by installing the screws into the muffler, and then I'll pre-install the gasket onto the screws. And now I can install this assembly onto the engine. and the lower screw that secures the muffler to the frame. Now I'll reconnect the fuel lines and the throttle cable to the carburetor. I'll start with the fuel lines. First my incoming fuel line, then the return line, and now the throttle cable. Now I'll install the rubber boot through the carburetor gasket and onto the top hole of the isolator. And now I can reinstall the air filter base and the carburetor. and I can reinstall the air filter and the air filter cover. Now I'll reinstall the rear cover. As I install the cover, I need to make sure that I line up the spark plug wire with the opening and the retaining clip for it. And then on the bottom, I need to route the spark plug wire in front of this clip.
and now I can secure it with the screws. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the spark plug. And that's all it takes to install a new piston in your blower.